Well, hello, we are here at Kettering Health Hamilton and I'm joined by Carrie Davis. Do you know why we're here? I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie was recognized as our Lead by Example recipient. And actually, you were nominated by Jess Raddick, mm -hmm. who works here and has worked with you a long time. And so I've got a copy of the nomination, so I want to read to you what she said okay. uh, about you. So a couple of things. She said that you're open, you're approachable, you're willing to share your knowledge, you're positive, and you always clearly communicate your focus on high-quality patient care. And then I think the, the one thing that stuck out to me, Carrie, she said you hold yourself and others accountable and you go the extra mile to share why processes or policies are important. And she referenced an example where a therapist had an idea for uh, how to potentially reposition or do some repositioning, and it mm -hmm. just wasn't gonna work. Mm -hmm. Worked for one discipline, it didn't work for nursing. Yeah. And so maybe just share with the group just kind of how you sometimes are able to either hold folks accountable or communicate, in this case, a no, but more importantly, get to a, a positive outcome in spite of that. Um, I think the biggest part of that is just the communication piece, just making sure we all know how everybody influences that and Im impacts the team. So mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest part of it. So you focus on really keeping the patient at the center of what you're doing. So even if somebody's got an idea, it may not be the best idea, but yeah. you can help to incorporate that uh, yeah. moving forward. Absolutely. Now, how long have you been a leader here at Kettering Health Hamilton? I've been a leader for five years, um, but I've been here since 2003. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 2003, you've been here, and then you're a nurse by trade. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. That says that on your badge. Yeah, since right. 2005. Yep. So I'm curious, why did you go into nursing? Um, I don't have the traditional answer for that. Um, I have always loved science and the way mm -hmm. the human body responds to things. Um, but when I had it, my job, my first job was in a lab and realized that I didn't have any human interaction. Yeah. So I went back to school and something that combined both and how the human body reacts and just interacting with people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of folks just love nursing, but when they think about leadership, they say, that is not what I want to do. That is not for me. So yeah. why did you answer the call to be a leader here at Hamilton? Um, I think that I just want to remove barriers. That's how I look at my job is I love taking care of patients and helping nurses. And mm -hmm. my role is just to help remove barriers so they can do that. Yeah. So. Well, being a leader is not a neutral event. When you show up, stuff happens, <laughs> uh, good or bad. We, yeah. jo we joke about that a lot in leadership that being a leader is it just it's it's not a neutral event. Mm -hmm. And I know with Jess, she referenced how you're an advocate and you're a partner in her success. And she also referenced she's she says here uh, at the end, which I think is kind of a neat uh, thing. She says. Um, and she's a mom with growing active kids, and you've got kids. We were just talking. You've got a couple of kids. I One do. is 17 years old, which yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. I need like uh, therapy for my 15 year old. <laughs> I have one of those too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So how do you balance that of, of being a mom and a parent with with the demands of, of leadership and work? Um, I think a supportive husband mm -hmm. definitely helps that a lot. You know, we worked opposite shifts when I was uh, first a nurse. Mm -hmm. And so that led to a different relationship, I think, with my husband and my kids. Mm -hmm. And they all know my passion for nursing and they support that. Yeah, it's so. a team sport at mm -hmm. home, but also uh, here at work. Yeah. So I'm curious, let's find out a couple of fun things about you, Carrie. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, are you a morning person or a night person? I used to be a night person. Okay. I worked night shift for 15 years, uh -huh. and now I'm a, a day person. You're a day person. Yeah, definitely. So what's your favorite meal of the day? Breakfast, lunch, or dinner? I think dinner. Dinner? Just being with my family. That's okay. The, that's the best part of the day. So being with the family, if you had to pick like your perfect meal, so if your husband was going to surprise you, just a hint here, <laughs> what would be like the perfect meal? Um... Oh, that's hard. Um, I probably am more of a meat and potatoes kind of person. Yeah, steak, potatoes. I like that. That's, <laughs> I, knew, I knew I liked it for a number of reasons, but that's that's one that is a lot of fun. Yeah. So if you could go back in time as you were sitting in the lab or even maybe beforehand, what's one piece of advice that you would like to give yourself? Mm, I think just to relax. <laughs> just to relax? Yeah. <laughs> I think I was a lot, I was a overthinker and uh -huh. you know tried to anticipate things and I think I just needed to relax then so okay. yeah <laughs> so younger Carrie if you're watching this in the past or in the future I don't know what uh, I don't know just relax a little bit <laughs> yeah. well Carrie here at Kettering Elf Hamilton we get to welcome new life into the world and sometimes we hold the hands of those when life ebbs away mm -hmm. but it's the way that you step up as a leader 
You lead your team. That really makes Kettering Health Hamilton a wonderful place. So congratulations on being thank recognized you. as the Lead by Example recipient. Jess, thank you for nominating Carrie and for capturing all of the ways that Carrie is a positive influence here on you and on the team that she serves. And it is a heck of a lot of fun serving with you. <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs>